Wesley Grammar School, Welling. Until yesterday, one of the most prestigious schools in the country. Today, a shadow of its former self. Adrian Frost, a well-respected language teacher, was killed yesterday evening in a traffic accident. The police investigation is ongoing. Is there anyone who you think might have grudges held against them? I don't really know any teachers, I'm external. Mm. I've got a list. <laughs> Mr Gilmore, he put my life through hell for the first year or two years of being in school. Bullied me in history from year 10 to 11. Hello, I'm James Dufton. I'm perfectly sure that no one in this school would have done a thing like this. Perfectly sure. Pushed me around the corridors from year 7 to year 13 and yes. I personally think it might be Miss Harris because I haven't seen her about in a while. But, um, would be sad to see her go really because uh, she teaches some good economics. Um, no, no, I don't want to kill any teachers, just maybe pro, but no, no teachers. Um, Tane. No, it's Tane. Tane. Watching you. Seeing you in physics. What was that? Tane, you here? No, he's not here. All the science department and the economics department. Cause, I totally like, agree. Yeah. There's beautiful people in there, man. I just hope it's not Mr. Frost. No, seriously. Is there anyone who you think might hold grudges? Could have been Mr. Morgan as well, you know. I heard he was pretty upset about the headmaster situation. Hopefully he didn't do anything drastic. You just don't really expect this kind of thing as a teacher, do you? I mean, to be honest, I've wanted to kill people before. That's a joke. Are you sweating? Me? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no. 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 <laughs> Some teachers have requested that their identities be withheld. Right, so you basically got this idea, right? Basically got this idea of, if you've got a bloke on a bike, yeah? You've got a bloke on a bike, yeah? Not in a car, no, 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 no. Not on a bus, no. In a bike, yeah. It's on a bike. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. Fine, 100%. <sighs> basically going to be quite, quite painful for him, yeah? Basically, yeah. Basically got a bit of a problem there, so... So it's actually quite sad, yeah? Definitely should have been Mr. Delis. Guys, I think I'm in love with Mr. Delis. I think it's just, it's just a bit hot and you know, I, I look a little bit sweaty, but I'm actually fine really, you know, 100% fine. It's an utter shame. Ms. Lawson? Yeah, Ms. Lawson. Ms. Bartlett? Yeah, Ms. Bartlett. Man. I just fancy all female teachers, man. So, um, it's very dark in here, guys. Um, if you brought Gilbert in here, he'd disappear altogether. I didn't really like Mr. Morris. Call me Blick. Not that I'm suggesting that Gilbert would be a suspect. I do feel sorry for Mr. Obviously Elphick. He's very new and he obviously doesn't really know what he's doing just yet. I think it was Tanya, you know. I don't actually kill, I just give the core experience. Can you spell that, please? K O R E. Oh, that's just what experience as well. Man, that dinosaur thing, he's pretty dangerous. He could, he could give some, some wax, you know. Yeah, yeah, so I left. Bexley Grammar School in 2012, yeah, because you know I could I could see it going downhill, yeah, yeah, dead right, yeah. And I I went to Blackfen School for Girls, yeah, and I'm obviously having a great time there. The case is ongoing. In other news, a new song has suddenly rocketed to public popularity. Oh. If you see man driving a German whip, whip blacked out window leaning back, back. See man driving a German whip, whip, look like a baller, peas and that. I don't kick ball, do I look like a baller? See man.
Hello, I'm James Dufton. The thing is, it all just got too much. I expected so much more of the Year 13 classes in German than to just do impressions of Mr. Frost. So I decided to do something about it. As he was cycling home, I'd cut his brake lines and I phoned him. Oh God! Oh, come on! So now you know. Rien de rien, non, je ne regrette rien, car ma vie.